Okay, this is a quick video on how you can draw out your anterior Chapman's points quickly on exam day. So start off by making t 10 straight lines. Okay, that's 10. And then add two little ones. And these are going to be your ribs. Um, it doesn't matter, that's over there. And then go ahead and number them so you don't get confused. And then go ahead and draw a line down the middle, and that's going to be your sternum slash manubrium. Now go ahead, and, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to skip the first intercostal space and make a dot at the second. Skip uh, two more, and then we're going to make three dots in a row. Now on the other side, we're going to start at the same at the same dot, and then just go all the way down to where we were. And then what we're going to do is we're going to skip down one and go over to the uh, mid axillary line and do three dots on both sides. Now by doing that we've already labeled um, all of the cha anterior Chapman's points that are going to show up on the ribs with the exception of your um, your head and neck Chapman's points that you're going to get with the clavicle coming down um, and you have your your ear, nose, and you have, I, I always thought ear, nose, throat, but but you do have a couple extra. You, you could um, categorize them separately, but we'll, we'll spell them out for you. So um, let's go ahead and label these, and then we'll continue. So this is, uh, like I said, ear. Uh, this is going to be your nose. And then you have pharynx. I'll just do a P. You have your tonsils. You have your tongue. And then you have your uh, sinuses. And I forgot you have one here. That's your larynx. Now, let's go ahead and label the other ones that we had before. This heart, I guess I could have made a nice little heart there. Uh, you have your, these two are stomach, but this one is specifically with acid, and this one is motility. Now, what's next down? What else do you have on your left side? This is your spleen, and remember, what's the difference between right and left? You have your spleen on the left, you have your pancreas on the right. And then all of these in the mid axillary line on both sides, whoops, should have included that one, these are going to be your small intestine. Okay, now let's label all of these ones. Um, so around the same area of the heart, you also are going to have, this is going to be three things. You're going to have your bronchus, slash thymus, sorry, thyroid, not thymus, what am I thinking? Adults don't really have one of those. And uh, your esophagus. And then next in uh, the third intercostal space is upper lung slash limb. So I'll just put UL for both of those. And this is going to be your lower lung. And then five and six, um, you're going to have your liver. And liver is huge, so it covers two. But you also have your gallbladder. So that's that's everything um, that you're going to have in the intercostal space. Uh, let's go ahead and draw this is your belly button. So from the belly button, we know that we have uh, your embellicus. You have three different areas that you're going to find Chapman's points. And two center, or two uh, inches up, one one inch out, you're going to have your adrenal gland, and it's bilateral. You're going to have your kidney. Just work your way down, kidney, and then you're going to have your bladder. Now beneath your ribs, what do you have? You have your pelvis. And you're going to have two different points on there. On the ascending part, ascending ramus of the pubis, you're going to have the uterus point. And then this is going to be the um, ovaries or urethra. And you're done. Uh, very last thing, draw a leg. There's a nice little knee, big toe to let you know that that's the medial aspect, and I didn't count how many toes I drew. But on the uh, on the knee, or I mean on the leg, you're going to have on the posterior side of the IT band, this is prostate. And on the anterior aspect of the IT band, that's going to be colon. Now, if this is the right leg, that's your ascending, and I'm just going to say ascend, and transverse. Uh,
semicolon and this is on the right and on the left well what do you have? You have your descending and sigmoid. Just rationalize your, yourself through these things. Um, if you wanted to be complete with a uh, head and neck, which we probably want to, you can pretend like you have an arm and remember you have your eye, Chapman's point, out here on the lateral hum humerus up by the surgical neck. Um, and that is it. That is absolutely everything you need to know about anterior Chapman's points, um, with the exception of probably the highest yield one of all. How could I have forgotten that? Appendix. Good luck.